how's that? That should be pretty good. Yeah. Let me bring more light into us. This is horrible. I know. Like, you, you need mean, lipstick. Uh, yes. Doesn't it remind you? Doesn't it remind you like? Oh, possibly. Cause they don't wear any makeup, do they? <laughs> no, let me ask some people. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I need some color. That is, you are not gonna take me this way. <laughs> yeah, it makes a difference. It's a huge difference. I mean, huge. I have it. You know. Ahora sí está Yo estoy más feliz. Me gusta que me sigue. <laughs> Welcome to my fragrance show. We'll learn together and grow together. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's my mama. Welcome to my show. Today I have my special guest, my sister, Tina. And we're gonna be smelling two Elizabeth Audens and two Dua fragrances. Well, you wanna pick which one you wanna start? You have Lotus, Pear Blossom, and from the Dua, Aqua del Mundo. Aqua mm. del Mundo. And then this one is 44 Shades of Vanilla. Mm. Yeah. So Dua is a house that creates their own fragrances, but they also create fragrances that are, uh, some people call them clones, all right? Which one you want to start first? I start with the Lotus. Okay, the Lotus? Okay. You want to say hi, Mom? The fragrance family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let me tell you about that one. That's the Lotus, right? It was launched in 2008. The top notes are yuzu, cherry blossom, and plum. The middle notes are lotus, tea lily, and osmanthus. The base notes are birch and musk. Ooh. Musk. <laughs> Listen, I have to do it. Okay. Okay, so what do you think about that one? I love the softness of it. The softness. So it's a soft, it. soft mm. smell. Oh, wow. Yeah, I smell it. I smell it. I love a says put two. Yeah. You see, so the way I put it, I put like uh -huh. a small spritz, yeah. and she said put another. Oh, good, good. It, it smells, smells good. Mm. Yeah, it smells very elegant. Yeah. Right. That's so rich. On a scale of one to ten, yes, it does smell very rich. On a scale of one to ten? It's a nine to me. It's a nine. It's a nine. Okay, there you go. It's a nine, so it's a 40 out of ten. And now we're oh, going to try the pear blossom. Oh, pear blossom. I never tried pear in a um, in a fragrance, in a right? Fragrance. Yeah, it's been getting used a lot more often. Mm -hmm. This one though was launched in 2020, so around that time is where pear became oh, a more stopping. popular note, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I smell it here. I like mm -hmm. that. It smells wow. Okay, so let me tell you what notes are in it. Top notes are pear, mm -hmm. Sicilian lemon, and bergamot. So it has oh, a very citric yes. opening. So it's very fresh, mm -hmm. you know, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, invigorating. And then you have, uh, okay, top notes. Uh, the middle notes are green tea, pear blossom, jasmine, sambac, sorry, jasmine, sambac, and mint. It's called mint. I don't know what that is. Mm. The base notes are musk. <laughs> Moss and amber. Mm, oh, so, that's why. Yes. I love the amber. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you able to pick up the amber? Yes. You that's see, the, yeah. that's the, like when it's drying, like like when it's drying. Yes. You pick it up more. Yes, you'll pick it up more. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The fact that it's called a base note doesn't mean that you only smell it at mm -hmm. the base. You may smell it at the top, but it means it's gonna last yeah. till oh, the base. Okay. 
Yeah. So that's how come sometimes you'll find certain notes and you're like, but why am I smelling this now? Mm -hmm. if it's, well, yeah, it's because you can't pick it up at the top, but it just smells heavy more mm -hmm. at the base. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. What would you give this one? I think... I love this one. This is a 10. Oh, that's a 10? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is a 10. I've never used hair. hair. And that's why I'm like, hair. I'm like, okay. I've, I could do app. Yes. I could do any other flavor. Yes. But never done hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a 10. It smells really good. And actually, yes. they seem to layer or work together right. really good. Yeah, because it smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. It smells wonderful. All right. You see, when that, when, with this one, you can smell the apple. This is this, yes. um, this one. This is the, the green lotus, right? The lotus is on that okay. No, no. This, this, one. Are, this one has the... Is it pear? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. I'm sorry. Yes. I have the pear yes. on this one. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see? Yeah, but when you move, you can still pick mm -hmm. them up. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that was just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is wonderful. Yeah. Which one do you want to try? There's one that's vanilla. It's called, um, it's inspired by Le Labo Bani 44. The, the uh, vanilla is inspired by that. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is inspired by Maison Francisco John Aqua Vita Forte. Okay. Aqua Vita Forte. So that sounds like Italian. Aqua Vita Forte. Okay. No. So which one do you want to try? You want to try Aqua Vita Forte? Mm -hmm. But the way, what they called it is Aqua del Mundo. Mm. Aqua del Mundo. The water of the world. Aqua del Mundo. And that one is actually extract de parfum. So that's a, it's a higher concentration, so it should last longer. Mm. It's soft. Yeah. Like powdery. It's powdery. Okay. Would you like me to tell you something? Would you like me to read you some information? I'd love to read you some information about Aqua Vita Forte. <laughs> if, <laughs> yes, officially. If you're looking for a scent that captures the essence of summer and everything fun that comes with the vacation season, then look no further. Aqua Vita Forte is a clean, fresh, and incredibly brilliant composition. Sumptuous to the core, the scent packs up a punch and will refresh you like a ray of sunshine or a paradisiacal tropical island. <laughs> The notes are Sicilian Mandarin, Calabrian Bergamot, Amalfi Lemon, Ceylon Cinnamon, mm. Guatemalan Cardamom, Sichuan Pink Pepper, mm. uh, Tunisian Orange, mm. Blossom Extract, Madagascar Ylang Ylang, oh. Mysore Sandalwood, and Haitian Vetiver. Mm. Interesting, right? Yes. Yeah. But you that's what you it's not the end. Yeah. Because yeah. you see, that's why the, this oil is it, it's, it's oily. It's extract. It's extracted mm -hmm. perfume. That means it has a higher concentration of the perfume oils. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's why you see the shine, you see the oiliness mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I don't know enough to know what could produce the powdery effect that you pick up. The only thing that comes to my mind is that possibly the Sichuan pink pepper mm -hmm. may contribute to a powderiness. Yeah, because pepper, to me, it smells powdery. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and it's a pink yes. pepper, so you know it's, it's mild. Mm -hmm. It's mild. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, yeah, but it does smell yes. so good. Let me tell you, you smell good all over. You smell good all over. You smell good. You smell good. Honey. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is the 44 Shades of Vanilla. Really? 
And who knew that Vanilla had 44 shades? You know, well, they figured it out no, one way or the other. One way or the other. Dua brings another oh. superb. Oh. oh my god, I'm having one. Okay, so we'll put all the attention on you, my dear. Oh my goodness. Mm. Tess, what is going through your head? I smell and I feel like the vanilla. The, just the vanilla. Uh huh. Like you could eat this, you could eat it. Oh, so you're mm. saying it's a gourmand? Mm, yes, it is. Very good. And then the smell of, I don't know if it's a musk, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's so, so good. Mm. Oh, so let's get to the notes then. Mm -hmm. It has mandarin orange, oh. vanilla bourbon. Mm. So is it? It's, it's edible. It's maybe a little bit boozy. Mm. Gayak wood, incense, mm. Sicilian bergamot, musk. And aldehydes. So the aldehydes are there too. Mm. I think Chanel was the first one to use a bunch of aldehydes. And then after that, it became popular. Oh. Yeah. The, and it was supposed to be supposedly an accident. I don't remember who I learned that from. If it was from, um, I don't remember who I learned it from, but it was from one on YouTube. Mm. It could have been Sarah uh, McCartney, right? I don't remember. Mm. But they said that the, the person had presented a bunch of different fragrances to Chanel to try out. And there was this one bottle, which was bottle number five, that had a bunch of aldehydes. And it wasn't supposed to be a fragrance. It was just like something that he was doing. And when she smelled it, she said, this is the one. Wow. And so then aldehydes became this but what's, thing. what's aldehydes? Aldehydes, I'm going to have to do more research because I don't want to say something wrong. But aldehydes, I don't know. We let's do the research now. Aldehydes are. Oh, I smell the vanilla. It's mild. Mm -hmm. It's mild. Bill, it when it goes on, wow. it goes on. Aldehydes triggered a revolution in perfumery. Think of them as something like rocket fuel, boosting the whoosh of a fragrance you when you first smell it. And there you go. They're like the fizz of a champagne having the power to make a perfume truly sparkle and effervescence. So that's what aldehydes do. They provide sparkle and effervescence. And that's what you smell. That's what you're smelling. Mm -hmm. And it became chocolatey. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. I think that is one dirt full. So did you score it? What do you score it? This one I score a 10. It's a 10? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Ooh. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm really happy because then that means that today was a pretty high scoring day. Yes. That's excellent. Oh, yes. It smells so see, good. Just, I'm just rubbing it. Wow. Mm -hmm. I I'm am impressed. It. So, there you go. You got to see the siblings, Marshall's Blend's fragrance sibling. <laughs> and I got to see. <laughs> <laughs> You're gorgeous. <laughs> so. Goodbye, my lovely fragrance blenders. I'll see and smell you soon. Ciao. Ci vediamo domani. Parliamo pronto. Oh, you gotta love you. <laughs>